All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the equation x to the power of x is equal to three. So to solve this, I'm gonna first start by taking the ln or natural log on both sides. So I get ln of x to the power of x is equal to ln of three. Now, an important property of logarithms is that if I have something in the form ln a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front, so this turns into b times ln a. So in this case, I have ln x to the power of x, and I can move x to the front, so I get x times ln x is equal to ln 3. Now, I'm going to use an important formula called the W Lambert formula. And it states that if I take the W of something in the form A times E to the power of A, then this is equal to A. So this is the W Lambert formula. So in this case, I'm going to rewrite this so that it suits the W Lambert formula. So we need to change this to be in the form A times E to the power of A. Well, how am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to first start by rewriting this x as e to the power of ln of x because x e to the power of ln cancel out so that's just x is all that remains so x is the same thing as e to the power of ln x and I have this times ln x is equal to ln 3 so now notice how this is in the form a times e to the power of a a in this case being ln x so it's form ln x times e to the power of ln x is equal to ln 3. So now if I take the w Lambert function on both sides, I get w of ln x times e to the power of ln x is equal to ln 3, and this is just equal to a. So, and sorry, I have to take the w on both sides, so I get w of ln 3, and then now I'm left with ln of x is equal to w of ln 3. Now, I want to get rid of this ln, so I'm just going to take e to the power of both sides. e to the power of ln is, these two cancel out, so I get x is equal to e to the power of w of ln of 3. So this is my answer to this equation. Now, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and check out uh, other videos that are similar to these on my channel. Thank you. All right, so in this video, I'm going to solve the equation 4 to the power of x plus 9 to the power of x is equal to 25 to the power of x. So to solve this, I'm going to start off by dividing every term by 25 to the power of x. So I get 4 to the power of x divided by 25 to the power of x plus 9 to the power of x divided by 25 to the power of x is equal to... 25 to the power of x divided by 25 to the power of x. Now the 25 and 25 cancel out for 1, so now I have 4 to the power of x over 25 to the power of x plus 9 to the power of x over 25 to the power of x is equal to 1. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is equal to a over b to the power of m. So 4 to the power of x over 25 to the power of x turns into 4 over 25 to the power of x. And 9 to the power of x over 25 to the power of x turns into 9 over 25 to the power of x. From here, I can rewrite 4 over 25 as 2 squared over 5 squared. And I can rewrite 9 over 25 as 3 squared over 5 squared. And now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, remember, this is equal to a over b to the power of m. So 2 squared over 5 squared turns into 2 over 5 squared. 
and the same thing with 3 squared over 5 squared. So I get 3 over 5 squared. From here, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So the 2 and x multiply. So I get 2 over 5 to the power of 2x plus 3 over 5 to the power of 2x is equal to 1. And this means that 2x is equal to 1. So now if I divide both sides by 2, I get x is equal to 1 half. So this is my solution. Please make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and share this video. Bye.